Okay, I get a lot of inquiries about how to um, bandage a broken wing on a bird and you pretty much handle it all the same way. Uh, your very first step when you're working with a bird that has a droopy wing is to check out the wing. Okay? So you, you take the bird, open the wing and feel all the bones in the, in the, in the wing and basically people think this is the elbow here this is really his wrist so it's like this so you check out the it's usually not at the wrist where it's broken but often in the next bone if they get a if they get a broken bone it's often in that in that uh, tibia fibula area or whatever it's in there and that's what's happened to this guy we don't know exactly what, whether he got bumped or whether a cat hit him or something but he's got uh, some opening some you know a wound here and his wing is is um, uh, pretty loose so it's it's probably broken though I don't actually feel a break in the wing or in the bone itself like I don't feel an area where it's obviously broken and sometimes you'll get a bird where it's really obvious and the bone is compound fractured and sticking right out and in those cases of course you want to try to line up the bone um, before you wrap it but taking care of the wound, um, what I was taught by my aunt, who is a longtime um, bird rescuer and rehabilitator, is when you have a wound, um, she suggested to me to put natural uh, raw creamed honey on there, on the wound, and then put uh, kind of a damp gauze on top of that, and then a dry gauze on top of that. Um, so three things before you put the actual dressing to hold the to hold the bird's wing. So I put some Q-tips. We can put some honey on there. So we're just gonna put a little honey on his wound. And the honey is a natural like antiseptic. I've used it on the very first crow that I worked with when I was taught how to do it had a really bad like the wing was just the bone was sticking out tendons were all just shredded and um, the honey did the trick the only thing about the honey though is that uh, and this is important part when you put on the honey then you don't want to um, leave him in a place where the ants can get at him right so he's got to have a, a perch he can get up off of the ground so you put the raw honey on the wound and we put the kind of a damp so that it doesn't stick to the raw honey when it comes off you know so you're gonna leave this dressing on there like six seven weeks um, when it comes off you don't want to be tearing the scab open so when you put the damp um, gauze on there it, it leaves it so it won't tear and of course you know if in the meantime like some of sometimes the bird depends on the bird each one's different some of them really hate the bandaging and so they're gonna pick at it pick at it and you got to change it out like every week others don't seem to mind it too much and you might only have to replace it once if ever during the during the six seven weeks that it's on there and put a dry gauze on top of that and then what we're gonna use is what's called a X wing or X uh, wrap so you want to go kind of around that wrist bone Is that strip big enough? I think so, just for the first wrap. It's one of the ones that you had pre-cut. Okay. So, and then this. Going around the wrist, wrist bone and around the back of the wing, you just kind of, this is just to stabilize the wing. I think it might need more. And uh, the bandaging we use, show that bandaging. This is um, this is no glue, self stick bandaging. Um, it comes in these thick rolls, and we just cut it down to size for the shape of the bird. Like it's too thick for most birds, and even with a large bird like a crow, you cut it at least in half. That one's too loose.
exciting uh, 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 Go under and then go around that. That way. There you go. Just trying to help you, but yeah, uh, probably not. Not fun. Oh, so uh, we go again. No, there's That's the. Uh, there's the X wrap, right? That's your basic X wrap. So it's basically just locking his arm, locking his wing like that. And then you want to wrap again now to put the wing against the body so that the wing can't leave the body. So that one just goes around the stomach underneath the other armpit. And that one you don't want to put too tight because you don't want to constrict the breathing. So just put it tight enough that the bandage will stick to itself. And usually that one, they'll kind of, um, that'll be the one that they pick at and they take off easy. Mm -hmm. Right, so you might have to replace that one several times compared to the, the X-Wrap. And that's it. That's how to... Uh, wrap a bird's wing and then you just gotta stay like that like just like when a human breaks their arm or something it's usually an, an eight week process birds heal a little bit faster so but we leave it like six seven weeks and this is the same process you use for any any bird um, that has a broken wing but you might have to you know trim down the bandaging if it's a if it's a much smaller bird and crows seem to do like, I don't know what it is about their constitution, but they seem to do very well. Um, like, I've never had a crow shock out on me and die while I'm doing this stuff. Um, but smaller birds, you got to really watch out for them because, like, when you first pick them up, if they're broken, you just want to let them sit for, like, a full day before you ever touch and do this stuff. And then even while you're doing this... You know, you want to be prepared ahead of time and just get the job done as quick as you can because they can shock out and die just from being handled like this. So that's it. That's my tutorial.